Hello, today I wanted to show you an example of fitness cooling a Java fixture uh, and this is one I found particularly useful when uh, running Selenium automated tests from fitness. I found it's often the case that you want to find if a string appears in another string. Um, an example of that might be where you've got a, a URL generated for a download file uh, and you might know beforehand what the domain name is going to be, you might know that the file name is going to form part of that URL and some policies might form part of that URL. Uh, but you might not know what the hash algorithm is going to is going to populate into that URL, um, so you just want to be able to do some string checking. Uh, so I've got a, a fixture here called string compare, and I've tried to write it in a sort of a language that the users will understand. So we want to ensure does this text, the word quick, appear in this string, uh, the quick brown fox. If we look at the Java fixture behind the scenes for that. See the fixture name there is does this text appear in this string and it takes two strings as parameters. Uh, if it finds the string is in there it returns two, if it finds the string isn't in there it returns false. So if I run that up by clicking test we can see that it has found the, found the word quick in the phrase the quick brown fox. It has found the text a wall in Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Um, but he didn't find the word rats in, uh, in the string free blind mice. But we put reject there because it's something we weren't expecting, so that's actually passed. I'll just quickly show you how quickly we can uh, expand those up and do another test. Um, what I'll do now is I'll show you what happens when we have a failing test. So just edit that test there and save it. So this time I'm saying ensure that this text, a roof, appears in this string Humpty Dumpty set on a wall. Obviously we're expecting that test there to, to fail, but the preceding test to pass. So I just click test, and that's exactly what it does. And I think you'll find that very useful uh, when running selenium tests. Thank you.